never get lost. If me want my wanna, I want my bro. I'm a nana. Now stop scrolling. Wanna do what I wanna. Hey you guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I make a busted lace closure look like a presentable lace frontal. And this is going to be the easy way. So here I'm starting off by just taking some T-pins and securing the whole unit actually to the mannequin head. And then I'm going to spritz it down with some water just so that it's easier to get the hair to move around to how I want it. After I spritz it down, I'm going to take my tail comb and just brush the hair back. I start by doing one section and then I go ahead and do the second section and just make sure all the hair is facing back so I can easily separate what I want to be the baby hairs. So here I'm separating the baby hairs. I do it side by side, starting on one side, going to the next side, just so that it's easier than doing everything all at once. After I do this, I'm going to give it a quick comb through and then go ahead in with my tweezers. So when I'm tweezing, I mainly focus on the parts that's thick and I can tell it's really thick if it is darker than the rest. So there you see me focusing mainly on that darkest part because that is the part that is the thickest. Thus the part with the most hair and the part that needs to be focused on for tweezing. So after that, I just go ahead and put some mousse on it just to keep the hair down into place and then go ahead and brush it all down on the mannequin head. So now, after I've done plucking what I want to be the baby hairs, I'm going to head and pluck the actual parting, if that makes sense. You guys can see what I'm doing, but it's just going to kind of give a better spacing in between the baby hair and where the hairline is going to start on the lace unit. And I like to use the back of my comb just to kind of help separate it out. Now I'm going in with this razor to cut my baby hairs. I usually cut them fairly long just because I don't want to cut them too short. And then once they're too short, I can't do anything. So I just cut it fairly long and then I can always go ahead and like trim it back again after if anything. So then again, I'm going back in with the mousse. I like to use a spoolie to separate the hair if it's too clumped together. And I use a brush to brush it back again. So here I separated the hair and put it to dry overnight. Here I'm showing you guys what it actually looks like after I'm done everything. I did not secure it down anyway. It's not glued, it's not hairspray, it's not anything. Um, I feel like closures are very versatile just as frontals because it's easier to swing it from the left side to the middle to the right side. You can basically get the same thing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh -huh. Shantae. That's right. Shantae. 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 Shantae